I suppose that's what I can hold on to, isn't it? And the bag la vacha katrika ni eduthu pettingle. Siri peda. Is that a meow there, sir? Wow. <laughs> There's a car. Such a wonderful day. Give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a Give me a give a Give a Thank you. <laughs> Ah, 
Vai Vi vai அம்பது ரூபா It's been such a bittersweet experience coming back to the village to see my grandparents. It's been probably about three or four years since I last saw them, but this time it was extra extra special because I was bringing Levi for the first time. Levi is my grandparents' first great-grandchild, so it's really special for me and for them as well. And also, my grandfather was quite um, ill last month. He had like a major surgery because he had a fall and everything, and it was quite a complicated surgery. It didn't seem as if it would be successful, but it was successful. So that on its own is such a special thing for me to be able to come and see him and, you know, show Levi to them as well. We got here yesterday, the house is really quiet, but my grandfather and my grandmother noticed us immediately, recognized us immediately and recognized Levi immediately. I included some of the clips from, you know, last night and everything. It was just so nice. It was really nice for them to see. They were not able to carry him. My grandfather can't and he didn't want to go to them also because Levi normally takes a bit of time to warm up with people. But other than that, it was so sweet. My grandfather was so observant to notice that Levi picked up his food with his left hand the first time he started eating his dinner. My grandfather was so quick to notice that. He was like, oh, is he predominantly using his left hand? Is he left-handed? And there were so many things. They were just watching him. They didn't even talk to him. They didn't even go and play with him. But they were just sitting down watching him while he was exploring the house. My grandparents' house here in the village is super huge. So he was just exploring the place. And Levi loves big places. He loves running around, finding things. He was playing with his car. He threw his car to my grandfather. He pushed it to my grandfather to play with him. And that made my grandfather so happy. When it was time for bedtime, my grandfather said, go upstairs and sleep, get everything ready. Um, this is the hall that we're sleeping in, by the way. So he was like, you know, you go and sleep upstairs to get everything ready for him. It's just, it's really nice. It's, my heart was full. Yesterday, when I saw my grandparents, when I saw Levi with them, every year when he used to come back for school holidays, 
um, it's always exciting to come back home because I get to see my grandparents, I get to see all of my aunties, uncles, cousins and everyone. We are a close-knit family despite the distance. Everyone lives either in India, in Malaysia, in UK, US, Australia, all over the world. But we always try and make it here. This time though, when I came back, it's like, is this the last time I'll see them? They're very old. You know, they've come to a point of life where their quality of life is slightly compromised because of age, you know, health and um, availability of medical treatments and all of those things. It's, it's just, it's difficult. It's difficult. I've come to the point of life where I'm old enough now to have experienced or rather to have heard the passing away of so many family members and friends, especially in this probably two years, not because of COVID, but because of health, you know, and all of those things. And it's, it's just difficult. It's difficult to accept it, but it's just, these are the kind of memories that we would never forget, you know, and I suppose that's what I can hold on to, isn't it? It's a memories that I can hold on to, and it's a memories that I am super grateful for. There's absolutely no way I'll forget it. But um, if anything happens to my grandparents, I don't think India will be the same at all. I do not like to be in India, as in I don't like the village. It's dirty, it's noisy, you know, that's what it is. It's not the kind of lifestyle that I'm used to um, or the kind of privilege that I have. However, I endure everything for the sake of my family. It doesn't matter. It's it's no big deal at all for me. If it weren't for my family, I wouldn't be holidaying in India. That's for sure. Especially not, you know, these kind of places that I am in at the moment. But, you know, it's, it's all for them. Purely for them. Okay, <laughs> Okay, Levi, I asked turn, okay? No, I, Daddy has had enough. Mummy, want some? Can you please bring to Mummy? I give it to Mummy. Mummy's turn. Thank you, Aya. Aya, sir. Levi, Daddy will Go and give Aya. Come, Daddy is coming. Daddy is coming with you. Daddy is coming. No, 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 Aya, Aya, Aya. 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 Mm. Mm, thank you. I know. Yeah. I'm in your You're there. Say Aya milk, please. What is that onion? Onion. Yeah, that's onion. Don't get that. Yeah. 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 Why do we put potato? Is it good enough? This is Mulangi. Katarikai. Brinjal. Put everything together, okay?
Say, Aya. Aya, please. Party, party.